Okay, now we're going to look at operating margin. Uh, the formula for operating margin is operating profit divided by revenue. And of course, uh, we will recall that operating profit is revenue minus cost of goods sold and minus operating expenses. And we will recognize that the first part of this, revenue minus cost of goods sold, could also be uh, referred to as gross profit. Um, so operating margin is also gross profit minus operating expenses divided by revenue. These are all equivalent statements. An analysis of gross margin uh, can help us answer two fundamental questions about any company. First, how efficiently is the business operating? And two, is the company management getting more or less efficient at running this business over time? So here's an example using Hasbro. Uh, this is a portion of their 2018 year-end income statement that you can find in their annual report or their uh, 10K that they file with the SEC. And the first thing that we'll notice is that in their presentation of the income statement, operating profit is given. So it makes our job as an analyst very easy because we can just divide this number, the operating profit, by revenue and we're done. If you encounter a financial statement that does not have operating profit as a subtotal, that's okay because we know how to calculate it. It's simply revenue minus cost of goods sold and all other expenses involved in operating the business. That is to say in the production, delivery, and administration of the goods or services that the company creates. It does not include interest, tax, and so on because they're not related to the operations of the business. In Hasbro's case, in, in terms of the expenses related to producing and selling toys. So for Hasbro, the operating expenses are the sum of everything that you see in the red from royalties through selling, distribution, and administration. And it does not specifically include interest, income taxes, and they've conveniently, uh, Hasbro has labeled these as non-operating expenses. So we know to ignore them when analyzing operating profit and operating margin. So operating margin then is operating profit divided by net revenue. And for Hasbro, when we do that, it's $331 million in operating profit divided by the $4.58 billion in revenue, which will get us 7.2% in terms of operating margin. So is 7.2 good or bad? As analysts, how do we evaluate this? Now that we know that their margin is 7%, what can we say about the company? Well, to evaluate, a 7.2 operating margin as good or bad, we need to compare Hasbro to its peers in the same line of business. Uh, in the chart on the left-hand side of the page, we can see that Hasbro is in the mid to lower end, uh, lower end range of its peer companies. Uh, at almost 7%, Hasbro's operating margin is less than both Legos and Spin Masters, but at least it's still in positive territory while Mattel's operating margin is negative. On the right-hand side, we can use horizontal analysis to compare Hasbro's 2018 operating margin of 7.2% to the same measure in 2016 and 2017. Using both of these together, we can see that Hasbro's ability to manage this business efficiently is worsening and is currently in the low end of the industry. Operating margin is often used to compare companies within the same industry that have different amounts of debt because it's before tax and interest, and it allows us to focus just on the operations of a business without respect to how that business is capitalized or taxed. In general, investors and lenders like to see higher operating margins than lower, and increasing operating margins are preferred to decreasing operating margins. Needless to say, operating margin should be positive for a healthy company. If you're looking at a company like Mattel here that has a negative operating margin, you need to look very carefully. A negative operating margin could exist in a new company with high startup costs. Um, and this is in the long run though, an unsustainable situation and it would need to be urgently addressed by management.